Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Munir Musa, and I have been working as an assistant professor of education at Sin Madrasatul Islam University for the last 11 years. I am honored and humbled to have received this opportunity to address the global audience on the topic titled Promoting the Culture of Open Education to Support Inclusivity. Open educational resources are one of the most innovative approaches to education. These resources can make education more accessible by reducing cost and removing geographical and time constraint. These can also support innovation in higher education. They further encourage the use of technology for learning and connect different type of education like formal and informal learning. Open educational resources have taken various forms. For instance, they serve as teaching, learning and research materials. They can also function as an online learning platforms or be utilized for content development among other users. Open educational resources can also come in the form of textbooks, images, videos, podcasts, repositories, course material, software, etc. The literature confirms that open licensed resources foster collaboration, enhance accessibility, and support diversity. However, the question remains, do open educational resources truly support inclusivity? If they do, then why are the currently available resources limited in their support to individuals with disabilities? Potentials of open education to support persons with disabilities. Open education can provide accessible learning materials and platforms, offering features like all texts, audio and video formats, ensuring that individuals with disabilities can interact with educational content without barrier. Open education offers free or low cost open educational resources published under a Creative Commons license. By reducing the financial burden on persons with disabilities, it enhances the chances of an increase in educational accessibility. Open education empowers individuals with disabilities to customize their learning experience giving them a sense of ownership over the educational journey and goals. This empowerment could help them to participate in a community of practice. Through online collaboration and resource sharing, open education creates opportunities for learners with disabilities to work with others, exchange ideas, share experiences, and develop collaborative resources. Foster inclusive learning communities. Open education platform prioritize inclusivity, creating learning communities that value diversity and accommodate the unique needs of individuals with disabilities. Open education empowers persons with disabilities to take control of their learning fostering independence and self-determination in their educational pursuit. Open education advocates for the rights and inclusion of persons with disabilities on a global scale, raising awareness and promoting policies that support accessible education. Open education offers a platform for resource development and sharing, allowing persons with disabilities to access and contribute to a vast pool of knowledge and expertise, enriching their learning experiences. 
The development of open educational resources has accelerated innovative practices in open education by enhancing equity and access in educational learning, but not necessarily for persons with disability. Open contextual resources are scarce and do not cater to different forms of disabilities or take the intersectional needs of those with a disability into consideration. Regarding awareness towards OER, my personal experience in this field confirms that there is a lack of users' capacity to use and integrate OER in teaching and learning for persons with disabilities. Now there is high cost associated with creating accessible versions of OER and that, that can be prohibitive for institutions and individuals, limiting their availability to persons with disabilities. Barriers to accessible digital platforms and devices can prevent persons with disabilities from effective utilization of online OER, refraining the digital divide. A shortage of regularly updated OER in accessible formats can hinder persons with disabilities from accessing the most current information and learning materials. Limited availability of OER in various accessible digital format restricts options for individuals with diverse disabilities. Insufficient collaboration between content creators educators and accessibility experts with persons with disabilities can impede the development of innovative and inclusive OER. Intersectional challenges such as a lack of OER addressing the unique need of persons with disability of different genders may result in exclusion and underrepresentation. Contextual resources, specifically those designed with the preference and needs of persons with disabilities in mind, are unfortunately often overlooked. This oversight results in a lack of educational resources that align with their unique learning requirement and interest. And there is also a lack of awareness about the potential of OER for supporting the educational need of persons with disabilities. Now, the question is, how can we promote a culture of open education to support inclusivity? In my personal viewpoint, open educational resources are the game changer. It can shift the dependencies of persons with disabilities to independencies. It can give them ownership. It can promote openness and collaboration in many ways. Now, quality of education is one of the biggest challenges for persons with disabilities. And I personally hold this viewpoint that open education has, in, has a power to work on improving the quality of education for persons with disabilities. It can also enhance the accessibility of education, reducing the gender gap, and also inequity practices can be curtailed with the help of open education. As I already mentioned that open education has a potency to reduce inequality and it can support the educational rights of persons with disabilities, be it formal, informal or non-formal education. It's very crucial that we need to work on skills development of persons with disability. And I personally feel that open education has that potential that can empower persons with disability with digital literacy so that they can practice open education, they can delve down into it, they can not only have uh, create the resources but also share it with the diverse communities. Open education can also uh, promote innovative and integrative practices. It can help persons with disabilities to create the content and to share it with others. 
It can also help them to collaborate with others in creating the resources. Now, open education resource can also empower persons with disability and they can be the voice of the voices. They can be the global leaders, they can be the advocate, they can have the voice and they can be the part of this open learning community by having empowerment about it. Open education also promotes advocacy because persons with disability also have rights to acquire education. They also have rights to have free education. So for the advocacy, open education can help them in many ways. Open education can also support the development of contextual resources repository. Here, contextual resources refers to those resources which persons with disability wants to learn about. Now, there are so many resources available, but not all the resources are contextual. So if we will empower persons with disability and they will create the resources, so those resources will not only help their community, but also to the others. Open education resource can also support networking. They can collaborate with others. They can have a new community. They can bring out innovative practices. And the best part is open education can raise the confidence, emotional well-being. It can also support persons with disability in long terms by empowering them so that they can be the part of economic independence schemes. And the best part, as you must be knowing, there are many people who are working in open education, but there are a sparse number of people with disabilities who are in the field of open education as a leader. So in order to bridge the shortage of open education, inclusive professional, I think open education can do a lot. Here are a few suggestions from my side. It's very important for the global communities to design awareness courses for the empowerment of persons with disabilities. We need to develop digital literacy skills among persons with disabilities. And for that, it's very important to conduct field analysis until and unless we will gather the authentic narratives from persons with disability that what challenges they are facing, what gaps there are for them in the field of education will not be able to support them in a concrete way. So it's very important for us to have narratives with us. We need to give them hands-on experiences, how to use OER, how to create OER, and we should give them liberal space to experiment it. It's also very important to develop inclusive repository. We have a lot of education repositories available, but the question is, are those repositories inclusive? So it's very important to have repositories where we can add on contextual resources, in various formats, and we can also invite persons with disability to add on more resources into it. Here are my contact details. Once again, thank you Creative Commons for giving me this wonderful opportunity to present my work. Thank you once again.